Talking about New Zealand, these days, John, we see increasingly more teams try and front up and, and you know, sort of smirk or laugh at the hacker to, uh, as a psychological thing. Uh, of all your international caps, which team or, or player upset you the most with their actions during during the hacker? Um, wasn't too bad. Like maybe back then, obviously the hacker was still quite like a big thing and all the teams were always really like respectful. But one time we were in Wales, uh, I wasn't playing, I'm shock. Um, but like the Welsh team were trying different things like, you know, roof open, roof closed or whatever, that kind of stuff. But one year they were like, oh, we want you like to perform the haka before the anthems and then like, and all that kind of stuff. And then like, I think they just told the team when they turned up. So it was all a bit of a, like a meeting with the coaches and like the senior players. They're like, fuck that. We're not going to like change anything. So they end up doing like the haka in the change rooms to like all the non-playing boys and stuff. And then gone out anthems and that was it. So that was most of the strangest, like not seeing. And I think obviously the fans were like gutted, like not being able to see the Haka like live. I think they might have showed it from the change room, but that was it. So that was Matthew the weirdest one. Are you kidding Apparently. me? They made you had to do it in the change room. In the change yeah, room, remember that. Boys one. did it yeah. in the change rooms, yeah, because obviously they wanted like you know, because they were like, Oh, the hacker's a special power for them. We don't want to like them to do the hacker right before the kickoff. And then I remember the kickoff. Uh, Ma absolutely like smoked someone head high, gave away a penalty, yes. and then like it was like first thing, like kicked the ball off head high penalty, and the boys like might have put forty on them that day. Like you hammered, boys, yeah, you hammered. The boys were in the mood afterwards, and they were just like, nah, these guys are having it. That's good though, eh? Like it revs boys up when they try and play those mind games. Even better when it backfires on them, especially yeah. the Welsh. <laughs> lovely, love that. <laughs> A uh, quick one. We've, we've touched upon the old initiations. When you, we've had a lot of Gloucester players, John, on the show. Yeah. Uh, talk us through the old milking initiation or the milk initiation, not the milking oh. initiation. This sounds weird. Uh, the milk initiation. Yeah. Uh, please tell me, yeah, how'd it go for you? Did you pass it? The thing is, like, I didn't have to do it. I was all mad keen, but like, um, they brought in his rule, I think, for Hibbs, Richard Hibbard, because he had like his long hair and he was like, boys, I'm not cutting my hair. So, like, I'm not doing the challenge. Because uh, he had, like, I think some personal stuff with his hair and all that kind of stuff. So the boys were like, oh, shit, shit. Like, if he's not going to do it, what are we going to do? So I think they end up putting, like, an age cap on it. Like, if you're over 28, 29, you didn't have to do the milk challenge. So they, I was like, I was already bored anyway. So I was like, like, boys, I'm done anyway. Um, so, like, I didn't have to do it. But I remember it clearly because there was, like, a couple of young boys, like, Purds in our team. Uh, Billy Burns, Stuky, all done it. And um, <laughs> that's sad, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, obviously, the young boy, Billy Burns, he was a young kid. He had, like, bad acne, like, at that stage, but he had, like, bits on his head. So when they were, like, cutting his head, like, they actually, accidentally, like, snipped a, little, a few bits on his skull, and it all started bleeding and stuff. And the man's like, <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I was like, oh, I was just like, oh, man. And he had, like, a, he had this horrible, like, shape of lid. I'm sorry, Billy, but yeah, he got this hanging oh, shape lip. Man. And they had to wear like a cap for a month easy. You know what I mean? Like, I was like, oh, my man's like done here. They've done him. And the, obviously the clippers they had were like 10 years old, never been sharpened. Like, they should be in the bin. But like Big Charlie Sharples with his pea head was like absolutely revenge for more. Someone that done him, it was just like, eh, eh, eh. And just like done them, I was like, that's horrendous. Oh, I can't believe we're getting the the scoop on there's an age age limit to that. That's uh, that's I, know. Uh, I think they reckon, about, reckon you could do it. Uh, if Big Stuke couldn't do it, I ain't doing it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you can't, if Big Stuke, if his, like, this was like Fat Stuke, what did not, Stuke like, help? not like Stuke when he was at Bath where it was when he's all lean, was, got his hair done. Yeah, it was, it was like massive Stuke when Stuke. he was like 125 kilos. Uh, the skinhead had the fat still beard. worked at a kebab van. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that that guy was a big boy back then. Chafe between the legs, um, but he couldn't handle like the pints of milk. So there was like no way I'm doing it. How many pints did he get through? He got through the lot, but like it was like three, two, one. Like drank it, but then chundered like with one second to go. So like oh. just <laughs> him and ripped the lid off. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I wish you'd heard the John the fighting talk from the boys about. Particularly Ryan getting one of those out. Well, one of these, I'll do it now. We've still, I've still got, we've still got to do it. Oh, mate, maybe that's like your um, marinade with Max next next episode, mate. I'll come down to Bristol and do it with you, mate. What is you... the yeah? It's the beginning skit. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> or you can do was it? It's the milk or the eggs, isn't it? That you can do your eggs and age as well. Like that's the only option. 
Oh, is that right? Just yeah, chop. Yeah, yeah. So, so if you don't want to drink milk, you can because Ollie Thorley is like allergic to everything. <laughs> so, like, so I think they had to like just get egg whites for him. But um, Val, big Val, like he didn't want to do the milk, so he tried to do his agent eggs, and he got through like fifteen or something boiled eggs and like pulled the pin. Oh, so not oh, raw mate. eggs? Nah, nah, boiled eggs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, boiled not like eggs. nicely You're boiled, tough. like boiled like chalk inside. <laughs> Oh, Mate, they, that would be harder. Yeah, he's, he's just trying to smash thirty eggs. <laughs> cool hand, Luke vibes. Oh, mm. impossible. You'd love it, Max. Don't lie. Mate, you'd be all over that. Think of the protein it, mate. <laughs> protein, mate. Yeah, yeah. I'd be in a lot of trouble after that. <laughs> My God. Okay, oh, so imagine Mar- the smell of your ass after that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sulfurs. All right, so marinade with Max, uh, milk rounds got to be done milk, when Ryan milk, when yeah, yeah when got to be done. Down. I think we, yeah. we need to do it for uh, when we do the studio studio show. We'll have a mop on hand for for yak and milk. Uh, John, last season at Leicester, we'll just hit you up with a couple more questions. <laughs> then we'll go. We've got some quick fire ones yeah, as well. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, you you probably recall this last season at Leicester. Your substitution for an injury and then re-entry to the pitch in the uh, in the second half and a couple of. The front row were in the sin bin that caused Steve Borthwick to kind of lose it and start screaming at Pat Lamb uh, for his unsporting like behaviour. Can you give us the real story about what happened that day? Oh, it was, it was mad, wasn't it? It was a bit um, of a, a shambles. I'll give you like a brief one because, you know, I don't want to get stuck rec- saying something that's not official and then like I get done again for it. Uh, <laughs> but the gist of it was like during the, I wasn't even meant to play that game. I was like just back from injury, but someone had gone down during the week, which was probably Max. And then they were like, oh, look, you might as well just start and then come off straight away and then that'll be you done because, you know, we don't want you sitting on the bench for 40 or 50, getting cold and then like redoing your calf or whatever it was. I was like, okay, got to half time, I'm off. Uh, I think RG, um, the RG boy had gone on. Um, so he was like playing, got Simbin, and then something happened. So obviously then all the big commotion started kicking off, like the rest went too sure. Uh, our normal manager was away, so we had this other guy, Geth, running the sideline. And then I just started building and building. I was like, oh, what's going on, Geth? He's like, I don't know, Pat's coming down. And then when once Pat came down, that was it. It was just like, everyone's going at everyone. They're like, oh, you cheat. And then they're like coming at me. I was sitting there like trying to like keep it cool. They're like, we well, know you're fine, John. Just go on, be the, be the right big man and do what's right. Because obviously we were getting dusted in the scrums. I was just like, oh, my God. I was like, what's happening here? And. I got up, like, joined the conversation, and then, like, I think technically if I didn't go on, we would go down to 13 men. Um, so, like, that was, like, I was, like, can't have that. Like, if we got going down to 13, they're going to walk in and try and win. So I was just, like, so I just ended up wandering off. I was, like, I might as well do this, scrum. It's one risk it, you know what I mean? So gone on, they're, like, but I think by then, both of realized it's better for me to not go on. So I started walking on, and he was, like, no, nah, you can't go on. You said you're injured. I was just, like, oh. Too late. I'm already on the field, so that was fine. Obviously, the scrum happened. Uh, Andy grabs the ball, kicks it out. That's fine. But then <laughs> I feel bad, and I try to apologize to um, what's his name, Rugworth. Oh, what's his first name? Richard. Yeah, Richard. Yeah, I tried to apologize after the game. He wasn't having it, but I just felt sorry for him because he was like the first guy I seen. So they kicked the ball at Wolf one. 10 centimetres from his face, I start screaming, just giving it the old, yeah! <laughs> like, I mean, oh, I hold it like thinking it's like, <laughs> I'm, I'm holding it like it's the greatest show, just like, yes! <laughs> Which was fine, like, you know, emotions were high, because he was like in the conversations too. Uh, but what made it worse was like, I went to walk off and he was sort of half in front of me. I've given it like the shoulder budge oh! too. <laughs> Because he was in the oh, way. No, no. So I'm like yelled in his face. Went to walk off. I've like shoulder barged him. Oh, and then I think God. he's lost it. And all I felt was someone grabbed the back of my collar and pulled me to the ground. He's on top of me, screaming in my face, trying to punch me in the face. And I'm like, well, this is justified, isn't it? I'll just stay here and take it. Like, <laughs> I can't really complain. I've like, yelled in his face, shoulder barged him. And he's like up in my grill, like saying all sorts. And then obviously the big fight breaks out. I end up like getting loose. I've like squiggled off the ground. I like rolled to my left and like got out of the pile. The the big like wrestle is still happening. I'm sitting underneath the post, just thinking like, is the game done, please? Like, and then that was it. So, um, not ideal, but uh, 
especially when we've got to play them in a few weeks, I'm sure <laughs> it'll be part of the build up. I, uh, uh, bloody Kiwis. I know, yeah, I got a shocking voice. I feel like I've, <laughs> it's gotten worse, I think, as I get slower around the field because I can't catch guys and I can't tackle them. <laughs> so if, I, 